The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesamento. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648 or internationally at 727 873 7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. We got a lot of things happening in the Capricorn now, folks. We've got a possible war. That's what they're trying to tell us anyway. Looks like they're trying to feed tapioca to the folks at the nursing home one more time. All right, let's take a look at what we think is going on here in some of these markets. I posted the uh, German DAX, as you can see. Uh, it had that big ABCD up there. It didn't explode to the upside. And, of course, it's selling off with the rest of the markets last night after it was revealed that, you know, there was some uh, shenanigans going over there in Iraq. So we'll see if uh, that's going on. Folks, uh, this is a, a big cycle stuff during those years. Uh, have some information on that, but I don't think you guys would be interested in it. So let's just look over at what we're looking at at some of these charts here. You'll be able to see here, let's start with the crude oil because I have a, a presentation I want to show on the bonds, but I, I wanted to show crude oil because we have a really interesting thing going on with the news. And of course, it's uh, the market popped up and they're talking about exploding prices and things like that. Folks, go back and look. At September the 13th, you'll see there where it says the Saudi drone strike. We were at a new moon at that time. And you notice that the market closed at uh, 55 and it opened at 64. It was up $9 a barrel before going from 65 back down to 50 again. Now, they're talking about the exploding prices, uh, exploding prices of crude oil today and how bullish it is and everything. Look, look, look what it's done. It took out those old highs by 50 cents. And is now, you know, trading a, a little bit lower than that. And that's not an exploding price. Uh, that that's the way I look at it. You know, I don't know, but you know, that, that's a big thing. Possibly, is it is it a game changer, folks? I don't know. And all I do is I look at the chart. The one chart you got to follow the money. I think you know the one chart that I look at that Mr. Z follows very closely is the dollar yen. And if we take a look here, we'll just take a look at this dollar yen chart. This would give you an idea of where we are. This market has been in a downtrend since last August. You can see the lower tops that we've had in here. The last one came in in November at the 61% retracement. Now we're down at near the 382 retracement here at this 10770 uh, level. Folks, if we go below 10770 in the dollar yen, that will be a game changer. And I don't know how much of a game it's going to change, but we'll have to uh, you know, look at it. The other thing that I think is relatively important is we had this big explosive move to the upside, mainly caused by Apple. It was widely telegraphed on the floor of the stock exchange that I had a trade of the year on in Apple, and they all went for my stops. If you believe that, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge I've been saving for you. Folks, it went up to $300 a share, probably going to be a little bit lower than that today, probably down to 299 and three quarters. But that was a trade that I had to do. I will not do a trade of the year anymore. I didn't want to do this one, but somebody forced me to do it, and I am not uh, holding them responsible because I would have done that trade over and over and over again. But you can't fight Mr. Buffett. When he comes on with Becky Quick and spends 30 minutes telling everybody why Apple is the greatest stock in the world, uh, everybody believes him. By the way, yesterday in the heat of this thing, in the last half hour, I happened to be uh, watching Bloomberg, and they were talking about a price objective now of $500 a share in Apple. So this is your last chance to get on board. All right, let's move on to the Treasury bonds, okay? Let's just take a quick look at them. First, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the Treasury bonds on a long-term chart. Now, this is the one that gives the most volatility. Hold on just a second here, and we'll get this up here so everybody can see it. There we go. This goes back over the last couple of years. Bonds actually topped in May of 2016. You notice that on the left-hand side there, you see that little blue notation where it says 1.618 expansion. 
That was the expansion between 2015 and 2016. It was a 1.618 expansion. That was the same type of pattern that I was looking at in uh, Apple. Now, maybe I put my stop too close. I don't know. I didn't want to risk more than $7, so that's what I did. Anyway, this is where we're looking at now. You can see the market came down. This is a weekly chart now. Look, we came down into 2007. We rallied up to the 382 level. You can see that very clearly, the, the, the 382 coming in at that 158 level. Then we came down, and we made a 1.27 expansion of that. That also happened to be a 618 on the longer term chart. And then we rallied up and made almost a perfect 78% retracement in the bonds back in September. While this was happening, while this was happening, we were seeing big drops in open interest, which we said that was not uh, that's not good. But look what's happened now. The lows we've made over the past two weeks down there at that 154 and change 154 and 155 and change it was a 382 retracement of that whole move now that's very important because it it's held that, and we've been able to rally three points very very important from what we're looking at remember during this time after the top was made in september the open interest was dropping and that's what gave us our first big drop into here to the 382 the fact that it was able to only go to the 382 could be very, very bullish. We won't know that. If we go below 154 now, it will be very, very bearish, in my opinion. But let's just take a look at the daily now, and we'll just see where we are. This is just a, 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 a bird's eye view of the last part of this chart. If you want to take a look at this, you'll be able to see it. You'll notice here the uh, the big ABCD went up to the top up there, three dry pattern. That was in September. That's when open interest was dropping. Then we had the move that's come down here to the uh, 155 level. We're, rate, we're trading around 157.23, mainly because of the news. It's popping up pretty good. The key level here, folks, the only way this market is going to be bullish is if we close above 161. That's the only way that I can see that this could be bullish. I believe that we've made a major top in interest rates. Uh, excuse me, a bottom in interest rates uh, that started in uh, August of 1982. So it's been 30, it, it topped in 35, so it was 37 years. And so I would think that uh, we're getting ready to have higher interest rates, not lower interest rates. I've never believed this tapioca that they try to feed us about uh, negative interest rates. So that's what we're paying attention to uh, here this morning. Uh, the comments on the stock market, I'll try to uh, cover that when we come back from the break, and uh, we'll see, you know, what that uh, what it possibly means. I want to cover a few currencies, but we've got another one that really needs our attention here because we've been waiting for this, and we should be here today, and that is in our natural gas. This uh, UNG contract should hit uh, 1626 sometime this morning. You won't have to risk more than 50 cents on that, folks. Uh, that would be about 3% of the value of the of the contract, 3% of uh, $16, roughly 50 cents. So that's what I would do is not risk any more than that. That's the same thing that I did in uh, uh, hit my life jacket on. Mr. <laughs> Tom is saying that bonds are going to go uh, a lot higher. And uh, I respect his opinion, as, as uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln said. 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we were, have a question from Mr. Z in the room, and that was about soybeans. I posted the uh, March soybean chart to show you that, you know, it has had a bullish bias. We've been very friendly to those. We've reached those levels, as you can see, but uh, his question was, uh, since December 2nd, we've seen a pretty big drop in open interest, about 18% in soybeans. All I can do, folks, is to show you, uh, you know, what I know about open interest, which you can write on the head of a pen. And here it is. You'll pull it up here. We'll be able to take a quick look at it. Hold on one second here. There we go. This is right out of Mr. Murphy, John Murphy's book. If you see prices rising, like we've had in soybeans, and open interest falling, like we've had in soybeans, that means that the market is weakening. The reason is their buyers are leaving the market, and there's not much left in there. So that's what that means. Uh, when you're trading that, you still have to decide, when you look at the chart, that's where your trade comes in. I mean, that's great information. But if you take a look at this, you know, you have to find a place where you want to sell it. So you've got to add some ratios or some ABCD, something that you use for a trading system to enter the market. That's what it's all about. All that tells you is it's, it's alerting you. Like yesterday in the NASDAQ, look at the NASDAQ going straight up, up 120 or something yesterday with the Dow up 300 points. The open niche was just dropping in the NASDAQ yesterday that's not bullish well you can see that today and look at the look at the dow jones yesterday dow jones up 340 open interest dropping now that the s p did have increasing open interest of about uh, 25,000, considering the open interest is 2.7 million but that open interest is down from 3.1 million so the open interest has been dropping in the s p so people have been you know leaving the market it doesn't show that but that's that's what's been happening how that how long that can continue be a long time so we'll see whether that's it i don't know we'll have to be able to uh to look at it little by little as we go through and look at some of these things i am getting a, a lot of static today folks i hope i'm coming through clearly because i hear a great deal of static on my line and I, maybe it's me my feedback coming i don't know but uh let me know if it's okay here at uh, tfnn i'd like to know if the uh, if the sound is okay so we'll see 
see how this is going. The folks, you know, the stuff in the news here, two things you got to remember. You know, what people report and what's happening is totally different sometimes. So you've got to use your own sound judgment. And that's why, you know, it's an advantage of being a technician because you have to focus on, you know, what the actual uh, prices are going to be as far as, uh, you know, what, with all this news going on. Like, I, I don't really think that's been really bullish. I mean, crude oil has popped up there, but, you know, it's not like it was back in September where it jumped $9 in a day. You know, so that's not nearly as bullish. We're in that little tight trading range now between, you know, 64 and, and, and 50. So uh, nothing really big happened uh, to that point. I don't know. But uh, just remember what you hear in the news is not always what uh, what you think it might be. So let's uh, sort of pay attention. Same thing is true with the gold. We had a really nice move in gold. Uh, silver did not do as much. I mean, it was still up, but not nearly as much as you'd expect it to be, considering gold was up around $12, $13 at one time. So that's another one that we want to be watching. Now, the currencies, we've been following those very, very closely. We've seen these numbers hit pretty nicely. If you remember, yesterday we were talking about the, uh, the British pound and the fact that it went exactly up to the uh, 60 one percent retracement up there at that 132.88 hit it spot on and uh, for since that time let's just follow you know what the british pound did over this point you could do it with the euro too but we happen to be watching the pound very very closely but let's just look at the british pound here this morning so we can take a quick look at this hold on just a second here and these charts are the same if they uh uh hold on just a second if these charts are the same, whether they're you're looking at the S&P or whatever, these numbers are they're the same anyway. But you can see the high we made there at 32.88, that was the 61% retracement. We came down, we rallied up exactly to the 382.132. Okay, then we completed. Look at the ABCD that we basically came within five pips of completing down there at 130.55, and look at the little rally back last night. Look at that. It goes exactly to the 61% retracement of the 382 high. 13160 drops another 110 points. And now we're getting ready to have another rally that should go up to the 13130 level. So that's what we're kind of keeping an eye on as we look at these here this morning. By the way, uh, the lines at uh, TFNN right now are just absolutely loaded up. Al says you won't be able to get through for at least a few minutes. But uh, if you do want to call, it's 877 927 6648. And I certainly wish I knew what was causing all this static on the line, but I don't know. All right, folks, uh, we have another question. Oh, <laughs> oh, I like this quote from Mitch Anderson. Nothing changes as quickly as yesterday's vision of the future. Folks, I don't know whether this is a game changer or not. I don't think we are going to go to a ground war with Iran. Uh, they, they, they would lose that. I don't think there would be any any question. Well, what do I know? And let's not talk about that. Watch the price action, folks. That's it. The key to, key to watching the stock market today, folks, we've dropped uh, 40 handles off the high. What we've done so far is we've stopped, we stopped at the exact 61% retracement, excuse me, 38% retracement of the low of December 10th. That's what we've done. Okay, then it must be on my side here. Can someone drive, Lopi, can someone divine intervention? Yeah, yeah, I, you know, Jimmy D, you, you're absolutely true. You know, I can walk on water, but it's in a seven degree uh, weather in Minnesota where I can walk on the lake when it's frozen. Hey, listen, I'm just an old country boy, folks. I don't have any secrets. I share everything. I don't, uh, I don't have anything that I use as a, I just, what I do is so simple. The problem is, folks, that it doesn't work all the time. That's the problem. You know, you're, you, you're not going to, you know, I, I have never seen anything that works all the time. But, you know, if you're looking for something like that, go get another job because you're not going to find it. You don't need to know that, folks. Look at look at, look at, at Jim Simmons, okay? he only, He's only right about 50% of the time, and he's one of the best in the business. Look at Tom Hugard. He makes a huge amount of money, and he's only right 30% of the time. So it's how you, how you handle, you know, the losses. The old rule is... Uh, he who loses best is the winner, and that's what it's all about. 
So that's pretty much uh, what I think you should be watching. So I don't know. That's my 10 cents worth. We'll see. Now, is if the crude oil can close above $64 a barrel today and break out of that trading range, then I'll say, yes, we're probably going to get ready to go popping above it. You know, and gold, very emotional. We got up to, uh, uh, what, what, 1554. The old high was 1565. And, uh, you know, well, that's going to go keep going or not i'm not sure but i'm watching you know folks all we've had so far in that gold market over the last uh, three weeks is a nine the biggest correction we've had is nine dollars what did we do today we went from third from 1554 down to 1545 how much was that nine dollars as soon as it breaks below nine dollars you drop 11 or 12 dollars that tells you yes then maybe the trend is going to break that's why this number that we have today at third 3205 in the E-mini S&P is so very, very important is because that's the 382 of the low from December the 10th. So let's take a little break and we'll be right back and I'm going to log in and come back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Dennis from New York on the line. Dennis, are you there? Good morning, Larry. How are you doing Good today? morning. Thank you for calling in. You want to talk about platinum? 
Yes, I want to see if we have a three drives to a top pattern. Uh, looks like it came down pretty hard this morning. Um, well, but I'm not we, sure if it's quite the three drives to the top. It's really not. What it is, it's a it's a double top going back to the high that we made back when we hit 1,080 cents, and today we hit 1,001 and 40 cents, and we've we've dropped seven dollars from that level. It just didn't didn't break out to the upside as of yet. But if we get above of, you know, 1,002, then it certainly would be a breakout to the upside. But right now, that is not, it's a very nice ABCD pattern, as you can see from the chart, but it's not a three drive. There's no symmetry there. Dennis, there's a really easy way to find a three drive pattern. If you have to question yourself of whether it's a three drive pattern, it probably isn't. It's got to look really symmetric. In other words, drive one goes up and drive two comes down, drive three grows up, and then it goes up and make that final. They've got to look like three little mountain peaks, and they got to be really, really symmetrical. They can't be really jagged or anything. So if you have that problem, you know, the best thing to do is it's probably not going to be a three-drive pattern. But this one certainly isn't. This is a double top, if it is a double top, and we certainly don't know that as of yet. Hey, good to hear. Thanks, Larry. Does, does that help you? Yes, it does. Okay, um, good. Well, good. I'm glad you did, and Happy New Year to you, and thanks for calling in. How's your weather over there in New York? Uh, a little rainy today, but um, my brother-in-law is in Tucson, and hopefully I can come oh, wow. out there and see you one of these days. If you're ever in the area, please give me a call and uh, come up, and we'll, uh, you and I and Sarah will maybe go out for lunch or something, and uh, we'd love to do that. So if you get in the area, you get, let me know. Beautiful. Thanks again, Larry. Okay, you bet. Thank you. Okay, folks, let's move on and talk about the uh, next one we want to talk about this morning, of course, is, is I, I forgot to put the FTSE up. I meant to do that on the daily chart, and we wanted to get that up to show you. The same thing happened in the FTSE. You see you had that big ABCD, and we couldn't go uh, above it by very much. It was a perfect one. We backed off a little bit, and the markets are very, very uh, jumpy this morning. So I want to take just a moment, folks, to catch up with what is going on in the markets this morning because of the fact that we are looking at a, a market where we could be watching some uh, very similar uh, type moves here we've now uh, let, let's just give you let me just give you a quick quick summary here on this s p folks just this will only take a minute but hey i think it's worth it so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna give you what i see happening and you're you'll be able to determine whether you want to use it or not and that's the whole key to using all this stuff or not but if you're one second i got to get it back a little farther because the big one that you want to watch here, let me break this, bring this up so we can see it quickly, and then I'll talk about it. See, this is where I look at numbers. Now, you'll notice the low, you'll see the low we made at 3207 last night, okay? Now, just take your, your pointer and look at 3207 and follow it down where you see 0.39, that's 382, okay? And you go down all the way down to the low of December the 10th. So it made a 382 retracement of December the 10th. OK, now, if you went back and looked at the low we made at 3210, that was a 382 of the low from 2000, excuse me, from, <laughs> from December the 12th. So that's all it's doing now. So what we've done so far this morning, as you can see from the chart, we've just made a 50% retracement of the high that we made yesterday and the low we made last night. We rallied up to 32.35. That's where we're trading right now. Folks, I've said many times the shorts are absolutely scared to death, and they should be. As you can see, every time the market moves down, boom, away she goes to the upside. So that's why... Uh, if you want to pick a fight, uh, Mr. My good friend John Jameson, if you want to pick a fight, you know, go to the one of the weaker sisters. You know, don't don't try to sell Apple. That was a bet. Let's just double check to see how how Apple is doing this morning. My guess is it's probably up on the day, uh, or very close to it. Let's just t double check here, and we'll put up here. We, we see we closed at. Uh, yeah, well, well, we do. We opened down. It went closed at 300 and opened at. Uh, at 294, we've already made a 61% retracement up at 298 in Apple. So it's uh, it's a little stronger than the rest of them. But we did make that uh, exactly to the tick. Was exactly 618 was uh, 298 and a half, and that's where it went. Was the high at 298.60 was the exact high. So whether that means anything or not. So the key level here is if we get above 
this 3264 from yesterday and the fact of a potential war and stuff, boy, that is really bullish, folks, and you can't stand in front of that. So all I don't know whether this is a game changer or not, all I can tell you is to watch a few things, you know, like watching the, uh, keep an eye on the, uh, what do we call that darn thing, the, uh, uh, the Japanese yen. Watch that Japanese yen. Let's pull that up and just take a quick look to see what's going along with that, and we'll be able to... Uh, We'll be able to see it very quickly here. This is the dollar yen. Let's get this up here, and we'll see if we're holding that 382. Yes, we certainly are. That that has not changed at all from uh, where we we need to get it to 107.80, and it's at 101.17. So there's no uh, disaster uh, looking at the markets right now. I mean, even though there's a big emotional thing here, uh, it makes it pretty uh, difficult to uh, think that this is a game changer as. Yeah, but it certainly could. You know, you really don't know. That's uh, the bottom line as I'm seeing it here. So if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648, and we'll be happy to answer them if we can. The question, I don't know, uh, Apple did hit 300. It hit 300.25 yesterday at the uh, end of the close, the last we saw here. Just, you know, if you, if you want to look at these numbers yourself, just pull up a 15-minute chart and see how Apple gapped down to 294. It rallied up exactly to the 61% retracement at 298.60. And that came in at 50. We got a caller in from uh, Poland. Michael, are you there? Yeah, hi there, Larry. How are you this morning? Good morning. Are Can you, you hear calling? From, yeah, I hear you fine. Are you calling from the country of Poland? Yeah, Warsaw. Wow, Yaksi Mash, Dobje. Yeah. What can I do for you? Uh oh, we've lost Michael. Shut the front door and raise the red. He won't. Uh, you're, you're cutting out on me, Michael. Uh, if you'll be, uh, I think you wanted to talk about the uh, the Canadian dollar, and uh, I certainly would like to cover that for you. Let's get this up here because I think uh, we're having a pretty good move in this, and I'll get this up here and see here. <laughs> Very good, Peak. There you go. I hope I hope you can hear me, Michael, because uh, you've cut yeah, out on me. Larry? I don't know. I guess I haven't paid my phone bill here in uh, Tucson, but uh, the Canadian dollar looks like it wants to get up to around 77.80 to the dollar is what it looks like to me. 77? Yeah, 77.80 is what I'm looking at, huh? Okay. And if crude oil, if crude oil gets reaches 70 with conflict, you know, since Canadian dollar is a petrol currency, where do you think uh, the Canadian dollar could go to? Well, if it's if it's really bullish, it might get up to 80, you know, but I don't know if it's going to do that or not. This is see, we're still in that same zone, just like the crude oil. You know, we're still in that same type of zone there. So I, I would have to wait to see crude oil close above sixty five dollars a barrel. If spot crude could close above sixty five, it'd be a big breakout. And we'd be looking at, at a move of around five dollars a barrel, I would believe. But today's move is really not very much. The most we were up was three dollars. So that's What's not the, a big move. What's the figure? Uh, they're they're neutral. There's not really anything showing on that. It's up and down. There's nothing positive or negative at all. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for calling in, my friend. Happy holidays to you. And we'll be right back, folks. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks, I wanted to expand on what we were talking uh, with our friend from Poland here just a second ago. If you'll look at this uh, market for the dollar versus the the Canadian, you'll see how we've gone down and made a 1.27 expansion there at that 129.80. Look, folks, we've been here for three days, and that that's in that was before that was New Year's Eve, folks. So that that is before what happened in uh, uh, I almost said Benghazi in uh, Iraq, Iraq last night. So this is not not affected the oil market as of yet. Now it had a big down move on New Year's Eve, but it's gone nowhere for three days. So that's telling you that uh, somebody's not too scared about what's happening in the oil market. Just like what's going on in the Japanese yen, it can't even make a 382 retracement of this. So there's nothing. It's not a game changer from looking at the charts and these money markets. Uh, Forex is how they move money around. So that's the best way to uh, look at it. That's the only fact is that's what I'm watching. Look at the, look, we've already rallied 30 handles in the S and P in the last two hours after that bottom down at the 382 was made there at 3207. So that's the key. We get below 3207 and bada bing, bada boom. Then you've got uh, you've got game to the downside. So that's uh, basically what I look at. Could someone please give me a, a price? of the UNG because uh, we were thinking it might hit 16.28 today. That would be the buy price that we've been watching for uh, for quite a long time. We'll just get this up here so that you can take a quick look at it and we'll be able to uh, get it over here. By the way, thank you folks for putting up with me yesterday. Had a lot of technical problems and was certainly under the weather with a little bit of jet lag. But look at this uh, UNG. Uh, this uh, 16.28 is what we're looking at. Uh, and I believe we, we made a new Low yesterday, so we should be. We're 49, so within 20 cents of that number. So uh, 1628 is what you want to look at. Um, so pay uh, pay close attention to that because anything below that would certainly tell us that this pattern would be uh, would be uh, failing uh, also. So we'll just keep a very very close eye. Uh, on that as we look through. Okay, let's move on here. We've got a lot of things happening. You remember when Bill Meridian was on last Friday, he talked about uh, July the 10th. Well, Norm Winsky has some things he would like to share with us. He's going to be coming on July the 10th. Shut the front door. January 10th, we'll be able to see, uh, oh, it was, oh my goodness, uh, someone's telling us at the pre-market that it hit 1612 in the UNG. Okay, well, that would have been, uh, that would have been right at 28. That would have been, so if you bought that at 28, uh, I would put your stop uh, just right below that 1612 then, so you only have to risk about 15 cents. That's about as low as risk, and that's 
Can't get any lower than that. The futures got down to 08. We said that 10 would probably be a very, very interesting spot to take a look at it. Whether it's going to hold that level or not, I don't know, but that's the level we've been waiting for and uh, pays to wait. Now, let's move over to talk a little bit about the uh, U.S. dollar because this is something I think is pretty important. So since it's our show here at TFNN, we're going to talk about it a little bit. Here's the U.S. dollar index as it was uh, as of Friday. You can see we had the D level down there. We were at uh, uh, very close to that 96.10 level. That was the ABCD pattern. Looked like it was heading down, you know, to uh, never have another uptick. And then as you can see what happened the very next day after hitting that D point, look what happened. The dollar index immediately turned and has had a really strong rally, and it's continuing that rally today as we're seeing weakness in the euro and the British pound and the, the dollar versus Canada. I mean, all of them are really coming down, except the Australian. The Australian is, is weakening uh, quite a bit, but we had talked about that one earlier because of the fact that it had that monster ABCD pattern in the uh, Australian dollar, and then it uh, finally rolled over. It went about 30 pips above the uh, above the level here and hold on one second here we'll get up here you'll see we got up to the 130 well we got up to 70 40 now we're trading 100 handle 100 pips below that so that tells us that that pattern has certainly completed so you'd be watching for what the ex the correction numbers would be uh, on the downside the first one would be right around 6910 which would be a 382 off of the whole move so those are a few that we we're keeping a close eye on. All right, let's let me take a quick look here at what's going on in the markets to see uh, if we're back to unchanged on the S and P. No, not yet, but we're we got up. We rallied uh, 32 handles, which is pretty good. We've already cleared the 61 percent retracement. We've cleared the 50 percent retracement. The only thing left is the 61 percent at 32.42, and then after that would be 32.50. We get to 32.52, we will be off to the races, I would think. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. We'll keep a close eye on it as we watch these markets unfold. Now, the NASDAQ has made the 61% retracement, folks. It got up to eight, uh, 88.42. We're now trading at 88.31. So that's been the leader of the pack, and that's the one that's open interest is dropping. So the players are leaving. The $64 question is, where are they going to go from this level right here? All right, let's move on here and take a quick look at the bonds here. Just give me a second, folks. I need to update this to a uh, so that I can see what my forecast is going to be for this uh, uh, Treasury bond today. This is where it's really tough doing this show early in the morning. And uh, we'll get this up here. Hold on a second. And oh, that's not good. Uh, give me a second here. Oh, there we go. Hold on one second. I will have this up here. All righty. All right. Here's where we are in the Treasury bonds. Okay. We had a high last night in the bonds at 158.07. And we've come down. We've dropped the whole handle all the way down to 157.11. And uh, now we're in an area where we should get a little bit of a bounce from this level. Let's just take a quick look at it uh, on a little, little, little bit of a timing basis here just to see where we are. Put this up so we can take a quick look at it, and now we'll be able to see uh, what's going on with this. So shut the front door and raise and I think I can do it this way. There we go. There we go. Anyway, that's what we're watching. So watch a little retracement here in this uh, Treasury bonds. The bonds overall, folks, uh, they have a bearish bias because of all those numbers that we're looking at here. So pay, uh, pay close attention to these because uh, if they don't uh, turn these bonds up pretty quickly, we're going to be looking at some really, really serious moves to the downside in bonds, which means the rates are going to be going higher and not lower. So if you've got a chance to uh, renew your mortgage or something like that, I would certainly recommend you know, you do that because these rates are not going to stay down at this level very long. In fact, uh, Tom was mentioning on the show earlier that many of the countries that were negative are now either as neutral or slightly positive. So those are a few things that you might want to, uh, you know, keep in mind as you uh, look at some of these things to do. Uh, I've been asked to take a look at TLT, folks. I'm, I'm waiting. You know, I don't like to do these ETFs. I don't trade them, but I do watch the bonds. And if I see something really serious in the bonds where I think that TLT is ready to turn, uh, I'll certainly, you know, uh, let you know because the bonds are uh, very, very active. Uh, they, they trade six times 
Uh, well, yeah, the open interest in the notes is six times what it is the bonds, but the volatility is two or three times what it is in the notes because more traders are in that bond, uh, the, in the bond arena. It used to be a pit, but not anymore. Anyway, that's uh, that's what we're watching. So hope that helps. We'll see what's going on. Uh, someone asked a question about the gold. Uh, we got up to 1550. We're now trading at 1548. It's done absolutely very little considering the fact that these uh, – these markets are not reacting much to what's going on. I, I remember my biggest fear was back in uh, in uh, October of 1981 when the Iranians hit the Iraqi airports or uh, uh, nuclear power station and the price of gold was soaring. It was up two dollars and sixty five cents. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I think because we have a, a big thing going in Iraq today, I'm going to share with you what my AI program is looking at for crude oil this morning. Let's just get this up so you folks can take a look at it. Remember, trade at your own risk. You're responsible for it. But uh, here's what we're looking at. Pay attention to it, folks, because sometimes it works pretty good. Let me move this over just a little bit so I can get the camera in there. 
And you'll notice here at around 12 o'clock, there should be a move starting high enough. This is making a high at 12 o'clock. That means that the cycle is making a mirror image or it's inverted. So 12 o'clock is the key time for crude oil. It'll be very interesting to see what happens with it. Remember, uh, use stops in all these markets because with the news coming in the way that it is, it is really quite hard to... Uh, uh, trade these markets without a stop because you're exposing yourself to a great deal of danger if you don't uh, if you don't do that. Have a wonderful weekend, of course. And we've got a lot of work to do over the weekend because the year end brings great moves in some of these things like foreign exchange and and gold and things like that. So we'll be watching all of these very very closely. Um, Okay, one other question someone had was about the silver. Silver is lagging behind the gold and silver. For some reason, it's not making the big moves like you'd be expecting to see, you know, with the uh, with the silver moving that way. But whether it does it or not later, I don't know. But right now, it's lagging behind a little bit. So that's uh, how we're watching it. So keep in mind, you gotta you gotta protect yourself because any tweet or. Uh, a bomb or, you know, anything could happen. So you've got to get in there and make sure that you don't take any disastrous losses because liquidity can really uh, contract because people are afraid to trade, much like what happened in uh, October of 87, and we don't want to see that. And so make sure you protect yourself to not get hurt on anything, whether you're trading hogs or soybeans or whatever it happens to be, protect yourself. Because if you don't, you're telling the market you know more than she does. And she doesn't like good jokes, so pay very, very close attention to what your risks are at all time. So that's it. We'll see you folks on the flip side on Monday and live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.